Hey guys, it's Minxius, and today we are going to make this beautiful butter slime. Um, people have been asking me, like at school, like how to make it, you should do videos of it. And I wanted to do it because I finally got the supplies to do it. Some of them, some of you guys might have it at home, but I didn't have the cornstarch yet. So, I just, so, sorry, I cannot talk today. So, um... As, as you can see, it's like super soft. I just wanted to keep it white so um, I could color it later, but yeah. So I'm going to teach you how to make this butter slime. So yeah, let's just start the video. The ingredients you'll need are cornstarch, oil. It, it doesn't matter for oil. It could, I'm pretty sure it could be coconut oil and all that stuff. But yeah, it doesn't matter what oil, like olive oil or whatever. I'm using vegetable oil, so yeah. Oil sh and shampoo. Okay, so like this one's all messy because, um, because it's all like, um, I just made this one in it. And yeah, so you could add glue. I'm gonna see if this one, because this one's like, not like fully like spreading up or taking apart, but like, like it doesn't, like if. It, there's an amount where like you can't stretch it, stretch it anymore, and it'll rip. So maybe this time I'll add some glue, but you don't need glue. So um, if you don't have glue, you don't need to add it, and if you do, you can to make it more stretchy. So yeah, it's a good start of the video. So first, we're gonna. There's no exact measurements of this um, actual uh, recipe, but I'm just gonna do like this is what I did last time. I got like a full scoop. Of a corn of cornstarch, and then like it's like it has to be the same amount as the cornstarch of the shampoo. So it has to be the same the the shampoo has to be the same amount as the cornstarch. So you, I just eyeballed it, and then once that's done, mix it together, and then you could add some food coloring. That's optional. If you don't have any, you could just like use. Um, Sometimes, like, when I didn't used to have any, I just had, um, markers, so then I just, like, painted it with markers. So, it's supposed to look like a paste right now, like that, and then once that's done, we add some oil, just put a little bit in there. So, there's that, then you mix that all together. You might want to think that this thing is going to be oily. But it's actually not. This is I put oil in that, this one, and it's actually really smooth. So the, I think this looks like a marshmallow thing. But oh, sorry. Yeah. So now I'm going to add some glue and see if it's more stretchier than the above one I made before. So you don't need to add glue, like I said. I'm just wanting to add glue to see if it'll be more stretchy or more stiff. So. Okay, once you add the glue, or you don't need to add the glue, just keep on mixing it until all the stuff is combined. Um, what's it called? Body wash and shampoo works. Or body wash, shampoo, and dish soap works to do this instead of the shampoo. I'm pretty sure you guys have shampoo. So... So it looks like that, and then once that's done, you're gonna want to put like a lot, not a lot more, but like a lot, but like a little bit at a time, like a little bit cornstarch at a time to make the actual consistency. So right here you need to be careful because the cornstarch, like if you do really fast, like a puff of cloud of cornstarch will like, um, like spray you, whatever. So right here, it's like coming together, but then it goes back to a uh, cream. So that's fine. That's perfectly fine. That's how the other one came out. So I'm hoping this one's more stretchier. So you, yeah. Okay. So right now, this is how it looks. Just like that. This is how it's supposed to look. See, like it looks clumpy, but then eventually it would come together. It looks clumpy, and then when you keep on mixing, it goes back to a cream. But then, and now we want to add a full scoop. 
I'm just not wanting to pause it because sometimes people like fake it. Like it's not like actual real butter slime. So that's what happened to me once and I was testing it out and it didn't work at all with the with um with that method. So um if you guys want other methods, comment down below and I'll try to find some and I'll try to do it. I know there's one where you make regular slime just like um with glue and then with tide or cornstarch um not cornstarch you can make it with regular slime just um liquid glue and tide or liquid starch or borax whatever and then after that you add model magic clay okay so now it's coming to a dough that's how you want it to be then make sure you want to do that and then once that's done you want to get in with your hands and then keep on kneading until you get a consistency where it's it's like both like slime and that in between. So I'm just putting two fingers in because just in case it's like not actually slime or butter slime I mean. And then I, then I don't want it to be all over my hands and then make a mess. So in order to add a little bit of cornstarch. Well sometimes I say a little bit but it's not actually a little bit. So, yeah. Sorry about my hands, like, in the way. It's always on the way. Because, um, I have to mix it through, and then you guys can't see it. So, it just, let me go just, um, wash my hands for a second. Okay, so I just washed my hands, so now I'm just gonna mix it up with my, um, my stick. This gets really messy sometimes, like if you don't be careful with the cornstarch, um, it, you could really mess it up. So this is where the part where like, sometimes it gets clumpy, but then like, uh, you think it's, it's, you think it's not gonna go together, but it actually is gonna go together. So if it's too dry, you're gonna wanna add some more, um, of your oil or your shampoo and if it's too creamy add some more add some more cornstarch so I'm gonna add some more oil and if that doesn't help I'm gonna add some more shampoo okay so at a point it's gonna come out like this like it's gonna come out really weird and it's not gonna feel like butter slime at all but eventually it would like um, come together it would come together and then it would be really soft and it would mix it would mix up see it's like starting to mix through and you're gonna want to add some more from the bowl to here so you could get as much as butter slime as you can so you won't miss out on any other butter slime so that's how it is so this one is way more stretchier if you have um, if you have glue. So this one doesn't break. But this one does. I think it's because I left it out a little bit too long. So I'm just going to mix them through. And yeah. Thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you like it. See you next time in my next video. Um, comment down below what other slime method or what other slimes do you want me to do like I don't know like foam slime whatever or I don't know but if you want to get a shout out in the next video comment down below slime squad and you're gonna get a shout out and then I'm gonna um I'm going to out I told you I cannot speak today, <laughs> but um, I, I, every time, oh my gosh, I cannot speak. Okay, make sure to like my videos, um, subscribe, and uh, click the bell, click the bell that's next to the subscribe button, and then comment down below, done, when you're done, and that also, that also does, um, a shout out for the next video, so yeah. Thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you like it. And see you next time. And yeah. Hope you guys like it. See you next time. Bye.